Well, Mike, we're about a week out now from an All-Ireland semi-final. I suppose, what's the mood like in the camp is, is the first most obvious question. Yeah, the mood is pretty good. Um, we, we've, been, we've been training away fairly well the last few weeks since the, since the Connacht final. And, you know, thankfully, we've got a decent spell of weather and, and you know, it's, it's a lovely time of the year to be playing football. So certainly the mood would be pretty good in the camp. Big win in the Connacht final. A lot of talk about how strong Mayo looked in that Connacht final as well. Um, I'm sure within the squad, that's the kind of performance you're always looking for and expecting. But it might have taken some people outside by surprise a little. Uh, possibly so. I mean, you know, we'd be. We're, you're always looking, obviously, to, to perform as close to maximum as you can. And you know, thankfully, we we hit a good performance uh, the day of the Connacht final. But you know, it 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 was very much down to you know an awful lot of hard work from the players all over the pitch, you know, and and, and it didn't happen by accident, you know. So they're they're a good gang of lads and they work really hard, and you know, it's 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 lovely to be rewarded with a good performance, you know, on, on in a in a provincial final, you know, and we, we were delighted to get it. For you personally, what's it been like to make the adjustment as manager to the under twenty grade this year? There was a few challenges, I suppose, um, exams, one of them that th that threw it up different time of the year. Um, you're working with a slightly different age group as well. So, what kind of were the main challenges? I think the main cha challenges, predominantly alluded to them yourself, they were were around exams and, and the time of the year. You know, and when it was under twenty one a few years back, it was played in March, April, and May, and that generally meant that regardless of how far you went in the competition, you know, an awful lot of stuff was finished up before the club season kicked into real high gear. But obviously, I think there's been seven club league games or six and, and, a, and club championship played so far this year. So there's obviously been, there's obviously been a lot of, of other games going on. But the flip side to that and the really good side is lads have played loads of, of high quality football with their clubs as well as the training that they've done with us. So in terms of match practice and in terms of in terms of exposure to, to football at a good level, an awful lot of lads have, have had an awful lot of match practice in them over the year, you know, with the clubs and with us. So it's you know, it's certainly it's not without its challenges, but you know, the challenges exist for every county in the country. So you know, we're no different. You just try and meet them and get over them as best as you can. What about injuries? Have you any major concerns, bar some of the more like publicised ones? Yeah, no. Well, obviously, Oshin picked Oshin Mullen picked up an injury in the in the kind of final, but. You know, aside from from Oshin, we'd be we'd be we'd be hopeful. You know that, that we don't have any other uh, other major injuries. We'd have a few bangs and knocks, the same as you'd always have uh, when you come out of a out of a championship game. But we'd be reasonably hopeful that we're going to have a have a pretty decent squad in terms of numbers to pick from. And um, Derry's uh, Ulster final one was the week after, I think, the kind of final. So, did you have a, a chance to, to look at them and, and see what kind of challenges they pose? Yeah, we did, and, and you know, there there is as when you get to the stage of the competition, you know, you're, you're they're, they're a fine side. They had a, a tough run through Ulster and had a few really tight games and dug themselves out of a out of a out of a tight hole against Down in, in one of the games. So, you know, they're they've played a few high quality games you know they've got some excellent footballers all over the pitch and they're a very well balanced side so you know it's going to be a huge challenge for us and um, as we said it is a different age group but it, has it stood to you the experience you had with winning the All-Ireland a couple of years ago do you think um, with preparing for these games and, and maybe knowing what works or doesn't work coming up to them or leading up to them I think it's very much a case of trial and error you know always you know, when you get a new bunch of players you know the most important thing always is the players you know and, and that's the same with, it, with, with any group you'd always be with, you know, no one on the management team or has gone out diving on anybody's foot or kicking a ball over the bar. So, you know, the most important thing always is the players. And we're very lucky that we have a, we have a very solid bunch of lads that are with us there this year. It's a year younger in terms of age group than what it was a couple of years ago. So that presents different challenges, as I say, with exams and, and, and guys being away at college and being scattered all over the country. But, you know, it's been, it's been a very good experience so far.